Welcome to All I Must. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. Because in this channel, we drop at least a video every day, one video every day. So let's dive into today's challenge. So we take our solution from here. Solution. All right. So let's write down our equation, which is 2x to the power of x or to the power of 4 minus 7 to the power uh, 7x to the power of 0 or equal to 121. What is x to the power of 0? Because according to the law of indices, it says that if you have x, to the power of zero is equal to one. So anything to the power of zero x one. Okay. So automatically this can be rewritten as x to the power of two x to the power of x or to the power of four minus seven times one or equal to one twenty one. And seven times one x seven. So this gives us two x x to the power of four minus 7 equal to 21 121 flicks equals to 121 all right so we cannot collect our light terms so from here we write collect light terms collect like terms so if we collect light terms we send this 7 to this other side to meet the constant term and here we have minus 7 so when it crosses the sign of equality it turns to Plex 7. So this, when I in turn, becomes 2x to the power of x or to the power of 4 again, equal to 121 plus 7. So if we add this, this will give us 2x to the power of x or to the power of 4, equal to 128. Okay, so let's proceed from that point here. So let's proceed. We are having a constant term here and we're having a constant term here. So we eliminate this two by dividing through by two. So when I say divide, divide true by two. So from here, this will now give us two x to the power of x or to the power of four divided by 2 equal to 128 all over 2. All right. So 2, we take care of 2. Yeah. This will give us 1. Yeah, 1. 2, yeah, 1. And 2 into 128 will give us 64. So we have 64. So our equation now becomes x to the power of x or to the power of 4 or equal to 64. All right, very simple. Now, from what we have here now, we look at it critically and see what we can do. Here, if I decide to introduce four, the power of four, if I introduce the power of four to this side, and I do same to this other side, it has not really changed the system. So I will do that by saying, here we have x to the power of x or to the power of 4 in bracket all to the power of 4. I do same here. 6 to 4 to the power of 4. Simple. Okay. So now that I have this, this is a power. This is also a power. Then here we're having 64 to the power of 8. And this 64 can be written as 8 to the power of 2, which is 8 times 8. And 8 times 8 will give us 64. So we can now rewrite this as x to the power of x to the power of 4 or to the power of 4 equal to 8 to the power of 2 or to the power of 4. Very easy. Okay? Now, we now look at this 
carefully. If you look at this, like I told you earlier of, this is a power, always to a power. And according to the law of indices, if you have, for instance, if you have a to the power of x or to the power of y, this is the same thing as a to the power of x, y. And at the same time, I can equally interchange this power. This is still same as this very one is same as a to the power of y or to the power of x. So, dx and dx and dx are the same. So, since they are the same, I want to manipulate that in this place now. So, this expression could be written as x to the power of 4 bracket or to the power of dx, which is x to the power of 4 here. How? Because here we are having x. Our x is simply a here. Then dx to the power of x to the power of 4 is this x we are having here now. And all to the power of 4, which is dx y we are having here now. Okay. So if I interchange this to become a, which is our main x, the power x here, which was inside, is the one that I have brought out. And y that was outside is the one I brought in now. So our y is our now our, is now our 4. And x to the power of 4, which was inside, is now out here. So this expression and this expression are the same from this law. Okay? Now, because... There is a video I produce on the laws of indices, and I titled that video The Seven Pillars of Indices. It's showing up here. Okay? It's showing up here. You can probably watch that video to know what we are dealing with here, what is actually happening here. Okay? So let's proceed. Now that we have this, this now becomes look at it here. We also apply this law again that when you have a number. To a power and further raised to another power, multiply the two powers. So if you multiply that, this will now give us 8 to the power of 8. From here, if you look carefully, this now becomes x to the power of 4 or to the power of x to the power of 4 equal to 8 to the power of it something special has happened here but at the same time before we continue again if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that youtube can notify you whenever we drop wonderful video like the one you are watching right now okay so let's go back to the board yeah we are now having x to the power of 4 or x to the power of 4 okay x to the power of 4 all raised to x to the power of 4. So the power and the base, they are the same. Here we are having the power and the base, they are the same. So we can equate both of them. So we can equally say x to the power of 4 equal to 8. Or x to the power of 4 equal to 8. It's a trick, okay? So from here, we cannot write this. This now implies that x to the power of 4 equal to 8. All right. So here we are having s to the power of 4. So we take the fourth root of both sides. Okay. So let's write it down. Say here. Yeah. Take the fourth root. The fourth root of both sides. Of both sides. So if we do that, dx will now become the fourth root of x to the power of 4 equal to the fourth root of 8. At the same time, we have to introduce plus minus to this. Okay? So, the fourth root here, we take care of this fourth power. And therefore, we are now left with x is equal to plus minus the fourth root of 8. This is the solution to 
this exponential q e d if you've learned something special something great from this survey drop it in the comment section okay or you have a question with regards to the survey also drop it in the comment section if you gain value from this give us a thumbs up give the video a thumbs up or you can say thanks jay once again this is online mass tv where we drop videos every day thanks for being there online mass tv loves you jakes loves you